Charles Dubronx Oliveira has made an emphatic return to the octagon and may already have his sights set on the champ. Charles recently squared off against fellow top lightweight prospect Benil Dariush at UFC 289. In a spectacular return after his title defeat to Islam, Charles handily demolished Dariush, finishing their fight in the first round via TKO of the co-main event. The first round started off strong. Charles landed a huge head kick early, with Benil responding with his own kick to the body. They exchanged several blows on their feet before locking up against the cage. Charles pulled Benil to the ground, but ended up being pinned to the canvas. For a moment, it looked like Darius had the upper hand, hitting Charles with some serious ground and pound. Hey, watching all these ha, leg attack positions. Certainly a lot of grappling fans were hopeful that we would see some of these ground exchanges between these two. And right off the bat, I mean, almost immediately, they were clinched up, exchanged for a bit. Charles attempted a leg lock in order to regain his position, but Benil was able to break free, continuing his assault on a grounded Charles. Both fighters managed to get back to their feet. Charles landed another big head kick before an impressive right jab. Benil dropped down and attempted to grab Charles's leg. However, he ended up pinned himself and experienced Charles's own ground and pound attack. The referee called an end to the fight at 4 minutes 10 into the first round. With Benil well and truly in his rearview mirror, Charles has put his name back into contention for the lightweight championship after losing to Islam Makachev at UFC 280. Don't just take my word for it. That's what a lot of the pros are saying. Former featherweight champion Max Holloway has voiced his opinion that Charles should be the next lightweight contender to get a title shot. I died, I think Charles is amazing man, Max Holloway stated. You know, with all the naysayers and everybody saying he's done, blah, 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 he's getting his rightful spot in October. To get that rematch, I'm excited to see it happen. But Charles's name isn't the only one in contention for a rematch with Islam. Australian fighter Alexander the Great Volkanovsky is rumored to be in line to have another shot at Makachev after Volk suffered his own loss to the Russian at UFC 284. However, Holloway, who has a long history with Volkanovsky, reckons that Dobrok should be the one to challenge the champ but hasn't ruled out his rival either. Oh brother, I think he did more than enough, but we'll see. We've got Alex coming up on July 7th. If Alex goes out there and does something amazing, I think the UFC picks him too. We'll see what happens. It's a gamble right now. Volk is currently slated to defend his featherweight title against Yair Rodriguez at UFC 290. While it's definitely possible for the great to take on Rodriguez before tackling Islam, he may not be fully recovered if Rodriguez gives him a tough fight. It also may be difficult for Volk to make weight, seeing as he is dropping to feather for his title defense and would need to put the gains on again to take on Islam. Seeing as Oliveira has gained some huge momentum from his win over Dariush, it's likely he will be the one to take on Islam next. Dana White seemed to agree with Holloway. In the UFC 289 post-fight press conference, White stated that scheduling a rematch between Oliveira and Islam was the logical next step for the division. Let's not play games. That fight makes sense. That's the fight that should happen, and I'm excited to see it again. And if Papa Dana wants a fight, Dana gets a fight. Although nothing is set in stone, there is no denying that Dana's the guy who will make it happen. White has admitted that even though he is strongly considering Oliveira as Islam's next opponent, there are a lot of other moving parts to consider. Commentator Daniel Cormier has also weighed in on what he thinks Charles' next move should be. Cormier thinks that Charles has definitely earned the right to take another shot at the lightweight championship. He needed something big tonight in order to merit or earn another shot at Islam's championship. Tonight he got out clean, he's not hurt, he's not banged up, he's not bruised. But even though Cormier acknowledges that Oliveira deserves another match with Islam, the commentator still calls Doe Bronx to be the underdog in that fight. I envision we're going to see Makachev versus Oliveira 2 in Abu Dhabi. I anticipate this will be a better fight than we saw the first time because now Charles Oliveira has been in there with Islam. But this kid's a star. This kid is one of the best fighters in the world. Cormier definitely isn't wrong there. Islam is currently 24-1 in his professional career. The guy hasn't lost a fight since 2015 and is currently ranked the number one fighter pound for pound. Sure. Thank you, Bert. I'm coming for you guys. Thank you. Sure, Volk is number two, but the great had to go up a weight class to fight Islam. He just didn't have the experience in lightweight to compete. Down in featherweight, Volk is the king. But when you're fighting in Makachev's territory, you're in for a rough fight. 
Charles might have what it takes to pull a clutch win, but the odds are definitely not in his favor. It's not just Cormier that thinks so. The bookies agree too. The money line has Islam at under 350 compared to plus 285 for Charles. Look, the bookies can be wrong, but it's their job not to be. That being said, Charles wasn't tipped to topple Benil. Islam's coach, Javier Mendez, was even hoping that Charles's would lose, but now even he reckons that Charles has earned his rematch. I feel that in my opinion, Charles has earned the right to be number one, or in line for it. What the UFC feels is different, but from what I see, I don't see how. Do I think he's done enough? Yeah, I think he has. The winner of Poirier versus Gaethje at UFC 291 might also be a solid contender for a title shot. Some are speculating that Dana is waiting to see how that fight plays out before he commits to giving Charles his chance. But come on, is Charles really going to have to beat another lightweight star before he gets his due, Dana? If Charles doesn't get to Islam next, it's possible that the Poirier versus Gaethje winner might end up matched with Oliveria. But if that were the case, then there is no doubt that the winner of that fight should fight the champ. Maybe that's not a bad idea, seeing as just how many worthy choices there are at the moment. Poirier versus Gaethje would need to be pretty spectacular to top Charles' first round TKO. Either way, Islam is clearly a wanted man. There really is a lot of impressive competition beneath him, all of them fighting toe and nail for a chance to stake their claim against him. But Islam is cool as an arctic cucumber. The guy is definitely ready to take on whoever comes to have a go, especially Charles. After the fight with Benyel, Islam tweeted out a pretty straightforward message. Congrats, Charles. But still, there's levels in this game. God damn, that's ice cold. Although it's clear that Islam wanted to put Charles back in his place, this tweet does hint that even Islam can smell a rematch in the air. I'm sure that after smack talk like that, Charles is going to be chomping at the bit to have another swing at the king. Oliveira himself has made it very clear that he is gunning for that rematch. He's got the belt and I want to be a champion, so I have to go through him. Of course, I want to fight him. That being said, he clearly isn't in too much of a rush. It looks like Charles' immediate plans involve taking some time off. But right now, I don't want to worry about it. I want to go back to my family back home, relax a little bit, and let my team decide that. Seems pretty fair to me considering how much work he put into his comeback. The guy deserves a breather before anything else. So there you have it. From a world beater in the making to a David and Goliath struggle. That was what the pros predict is next for Charles Oliveira. We're working off of that jab early. 